Lesson number two on matrices, we are going to look at scala. So a scala with defined in vectors in our last topic that it multiplies all quantities of the matrix or a vector. So so it's called a scala. Let's look at this example. Two then we have a two by two matrix here this means two is a matrix two is applying all the quantities here so two which is outside the bracket is called a matrix therefore since we said that a matrix multiplies all quantities of all quantities of a matrix let's multiply so two will multiply three 2 also multiply 1, 2 multiply 0, and 2, so 2 times 3, 2 times 1, 2 times 0, 2 times 2, then the final will be 6, 2, 0, 4. So, that's the effect of a scalar on every matrix, it multiplies all the quantities. Let's look at these examples. We have two matrix of uh, one uh, minus one three minus three minus five. Therefore, two will multiply everything here. So it's two times minus one, two times minus three, two times three, two times minus five. Then our final answer will become minus two from here. Then two times minus three is minus six. Two times three is six. 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. So this is our final answer. Then for the second example now, 4 is a scalar. So 4 will multiply 3, 4 times 3, 4 times 5, 4 times minus 2, 4 times 7. So this will give us 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times minus 2 is minus 8, 4 times 4, 4 times 7 is 28. So this will be our final answer. Few things to do in exercise three zero one one zero four minus two minus three four minus four six zero one two four.